So this is my homemade rocket launcher. It looks much more like a rocket launcher than my last ones. It's made out of a three inch PVC pipe. I don't know, it's about yay. It's about yay long. It has an electronic trigger mechanism which goes into the control box, which then puts the current into these alligator clips, which will connect to the fuse. It's held like this, the trigger. It has a warning light that tells you that it's armed. And this control box right here, when you open it up, it has all the wiring in it and it allows the electronic trigger to work and this light to light up to arm it. It's all running off a RC plane battery. Yeah, we're ready to go. We're gonna load in one of the rockets and we're gonna send them down that way and we're gonna see how far they go. All right, so here are my three rockets for today. The first one we have, they're all powered by C65 rocket, SD's rocket motors. So this one has no load. It is simply just a paper rocket. The second one we're gonna be launching today, this one actually has a AAA battery as the payload glued up into the nose to simulate some kind of payload in the front of the rocket and it weighs 11 grams. And the last one we'll be launching today has the heaviest payload. It is a AA battery at 23 grams, and once again, a C65. These are the three test rockets that we'll be firing off today. So this is gonna be the same process as a normal rocket. This is like an engine plug cap. It's a normal Estes fuse, and then you put it in the rear. And carefully, you wanna put that plug in and make sure you keep those wires separated so they don't touch because the fuse will not work. So now that rocket is armed and ready to go. So here's our rocket that we already put the fuse in. And to load it, slide it in the front and then slide it back. As you can see, there's a little pull that's right there that stops the rocket from sliding back out. I'm gonna put the connectors on. So now I'm gonna put the battery in and get ready to launch. I'm basically just launching model rockets out of a tube. I will be wearing gloves and I have a fire extinguisher. So we're actually taking some safety precautions here. And I've also got this jacket that will protect me, which I actually wore in the very first rocket launcher video. And I've got this cool shirt live laugh launch i know i'm so funny so now we're gonna get into it three two one launch 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 i was right that one was gonna cause shenanigans so that launch was not that great, but now we're gonna be doing the medium weight, which has the 11 gram payload. So that one should have a better center of mass. Let's see how this goes. Here we go, test two, three, two, one. You're behind that soccer goal? <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. That's all for the testing. All I had really was three rockets. So now I'm gonna be heading back home and doing a little bit of post analysis. I'm gonna call this field Green Grass Missile Range, off-brand White Sands Missile Range. This was the first one we fired. As you can see, the fin is a little busted, but other than that, it's okay. So this rocket was the one that did all the loop-de-loops and that was simply because it had no simulated payload, no nose weight, so it was extremely tail heavy. I expected it to not fly very well, but it was a good test. Now this is the second one we launched. This is the one that had the AAA battery, the 11 gram payload. As it did fly, this one had a lot more weight and carried itself into the ground where it crumpled. So this rocket is trash, but at least it flew somewhere. Now this is the rocket with the AA battery, 23 gram simulated payload, a lot heavier. It took a lot more damage when it actually hit the ground. The heavier one was a lot more predictable. Right where I aimed is where it went. Well, this one went a lot further than I expected. It had much more of an arch, which makes sense as the rocket is lighter. But personally, I like to use the heavier ones because they're a little more predictable. And when you're firing a rocket launcher in a soccer field, predictability is important. So that concludes my post analysis. I will be continuing development of these model rockets for the rocket launcher, and hopefully there will maybe be a part two. Thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to help share my content with other people. More aviation stuff coming soon. I just got a brand new thing off Facebook Marketplace, so you know it's gonna be good. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see y'all in the next video.